Hello everyone, so this time I would like to share a video on how to create 3D scenes with actual seam allowances, just like they are in real life. I really like this detail because it adds that next level of realism to your 3D garment. I would say it's not really necessary to have this detail in your work, however, if you want to make some close-up renders and if you want your 3D garment to look super realistic, then I think this detail is worth the effort. Um, this workflow that I'm showing here is my preferred workflow, so you will see I use different techniques to add the seam allowances. There are other ways how to do it, um, but this is just the way how I like to do it. First, I will start with the sleeve. I thought this is a good example because the sleeve's um, seam allowance is kind of shaped like this. It's not just a straight piece of fabric. So first, I will offset as pattern outline to create the seam allowance. So it will be one centimeter seam allowance. I need the internal line and I will use extend here. Now I'm cutting off the unnecessary part and deleting it. And here's my seam allowance. I will change particle distance to five. So the simulation is more stable. And here I need to offset as internal line one centimeter because this line will help me to have more stable simulation. So now I will sew the seam allowance to the sleeve and I will attach this edge to this internal line. So that will help me position the seam allowance. And now I can do superimpose under and my seam allowance is positioned under the sleeve. And also I will add the sleeve here, seam here. And strengthen so it's uh, the simulation is more stable okay so now I have positioned it and I will merge it here I'm selecting the seam seams that connects the sleeve and the sleeve allowance sleeve <laughs> seam allowance right click and merge so now the seam allowance is merged to the sleeve and I need this line and I need to redo the sewing. This workflow does require redoing sewing a little bit. However, if you do this detail step by step like I'm doing it now, you will have to struggle much less with like layer collision and things like that. Okay, so I will redo the sewing. Like this. And now I I will add additional internal lines, one millimeter to both sides. So this will help the fold to be nice and clean. Okay. And from my experiences, it is nice to add additional internal line. But these internal lines, you don't need to add fold angle. They just help to kind of split the mesh so that the fold is smoother okay so sleeve part is finished now i will do the armhole so again i copy the patterns offset as pattern outline one centimeter extend create internal line now i will cut these off and delete unnecessary parts okay now I will do the sewing and I will attach the outline edge of the seam allowance of the armhole to the outline edge of the seam allowance of the sleeve change to turn okay so we'll change particle distance to lower one so simulation is more stable and here it's a bit tricky I will start by superimpose under but sometimes you never really know which one will work the best so I think under and over will not really work in this case so 
probably the side one is the one that will be the best for this because there are two sewing right the, this sewing goes to the armhole and this sewing is under here so when you ask the software to put it over under or side i think maybe it's a bit confusing so it doesn't understand where exactly this has to go <laughs> however if you simulate still claw figures it out and the simulation is rather stable i would say could be worse So sew these bits. Okay. Okay, and now I will do the merging again. So I have to merge the seam allowances to the body. internal lines okay and now I will sew the sleeve to the armhole okay so far it looks okay and I would suggest to switch on fold rendering here. Sometimes it helps with the stability of the layers and everything. Okay, and now I can delete this line because this edge is not really attached to the sleeve itself. So I have to release it. And as you can see, this um, the look already changes. And it does look a bit more natural when you have the seam allowance, the more natural drape of the sleeve and armhole connection. Okay, and now I will change particle distance to five, decrease collision. And that's how it looks. It has that nice realistic fold yeah, this detail looks great. Okay, and then I will also do the seam allowance here, the yoke in front, because very often um, there is a pretty visible bump when you have a yoke. But if you connect yoke and body just with the regular sewing, I mean, there's no bump, so it's kind of invisible in the renders. And... Okay, so here I will do a little bit differently. I will offset as internal line first, so one centimeter, and then I will trace this pattern. And then this this one I convert to curve point because I don't want this extra point. Okay, so this will be my seam allowance. And this method is, a, is not the same that I use. I, I choose different methods depending on what situation I have because I've been making these so many times I can, I can kind of figure out which method would be fastest for me. Okay, so I will now attach seam allowance to the body. And superimpose under and change particle distance to 5. So now the seam allowance is put directly underneath. But if I want to merge it to the yoke, I have to flip it. Because as you can see, for both yoke and seam allowance, the right side of the fabric is looking up. However, the seam allowance, the, for the seam allowance, the right side of the fabric should be looking down. So, very simple, flip normal. I will rotate it a little bit, and now I can easily merge it. Like this. Okay, now I need 
this internal line and I will add those additional internal lines and only for these ones I need to change fold angle to 90 and I will redo the sewing to add seam allowance here so here I will try on offsetting as pattern outline directly from oh, no, here I have a point so I need to get rid of this point okay so offset as pattern outline I will add one centimeter extend create internal line and so on so here this sewing I need to delete and this will be attached to this edge and this line will be attached to this line. And here, why I usually don't offset directly from uh, this pattern is because, as you can see, I can't superimpose under and do things like that because it's attached to the whole body. So here, the alternative would be to select this part, but select mesh and bring it down which in this case worked quite well okay and this is basically it so for here I would switch fold rendering on And you have very nice realistic folds here and the simulation itself is really stable and looks very clean and of course you can see the difference even if I switch on the 3d seam lines the dimension here is much greater than here where you just have the normal map okay and I will, oh, here I don't need so. Okay, and lastly, let's check how it looks in render. So this is low contrast light, so I will have something with higher contrast. I think it looks so great and if you do close-up render you know all the detail comes out and looks very realistic these seams this this is the type of thing that I absolutely love about 3d is that not only you can create something very quickly and visualize it very quickly but you can actually achieve a very high level of realism of course if you put in some effort in making this type of detail yeah of course the difference is major okay so this is it for the video I hope you find this method useful and I hope to see some of this detail reflected in your work work as well if you have any questions or suggestions feel free to leave comments and thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye.